Nigel is here now. So many questions, Nigel. I'm just completely mad, aren't I? So Looking many that, questions. God, that is such a mad thing to do. Anyway. Uh, no, let's just go back to you popping on Mick Jagger's suit. Yes. Well, you see, um, there was a, a, a trial, as you, you were too young to remember, but they, they were nearly sent to prison. In fact, they were sent to prison, and my dad got them out on bail. And then on appeal, they were found not guilty, which was great. And there was a big party in, in, in that flat. And well, they took their clothes off? No, no, Mick, Mick was in a suit for the court. My dad oh, made him see, wear a suit all... because he was in court. And he, yeah. he wanted him to look smart, not in some caftan. So when, when he, uh, he, the party was over, he changed out of the suit into his sort of day gear, which was right. mostly flowery and caftan type thing, to go off and do an interview for Panorama. So he left the suit he was wearing on my bed. So obviously I had to put it on. And did you do all the movements? I did, yeah. I did, did Jumping you? Jack Flash for my father. And what and did I remember your father, the QC, qu make of that? He said, give me, give, you know, stop doing that. <laughs> but he, there was 200 quid in the back pocket, I remember, which I'd never seen that much money. It would get a wedge of money. And my Absolutely. father said, no, 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 I'll have to give me that. <laughs> that was his payment, probably. Yes, yes probably yes. was. Um, so you're going back to all the houses of your past. Um, that might be, that must be quite emotional. Well, it was emotional. And, you know, I live in London, and um, uh, so I drive past these places pretty much all the time. And why do you have a crocodile in your house? Um, good question. Mm. Uh, my wife um, saw that crocodile and bought it, because we do collect stuffed... <laughs> stuffed animals. Oh! Yeah. But it started off with me collecting stuffed fish. As you do. As you yes, do. Yeah. But they're very collectible. And stuffed fish? Yes, they are. Are they? They are. And, they're, and to find good one is rare. And they're very expensive. I know it sounds Stuffed crazy. fish? Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. Oh. It's a sort of trophy. A Victorian gentleman would catch the fish, have it stuffed, and put it in a bow-fronted case, st stick it on the wall in their, in their study or in their games room. And Do you they... ever go fishing yourself and stuff a fish? I, I, I've done it a few times. No, I haven't done that, no. I just like them because they're very decorative and I think they look fantastic. I know you think I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> See, you thinking, this guy is insane. Well, do you know what? I love that people won't know what happened, but during the ad break, you were you met the Olympic gold medalist. I did. It's Saskia fantastic. And Hannah. Held the... Yes, you held mm. their medals, but you told them that you'd won a medal. I have indeed won a silver um, Olympic medal. Have you really? Yeah. Not I really. mean, obviously in a film. <laughs> but I did train like an Olymp... And we had an Olympic coach. For Chariots of Fire, Yes, of for Chariots of Fire. And he... A wonderful man called Tom McNabb, and he trained us... Like, a, and he said, I'm going to train you like a proper Olympic really? runner. Yeah, so he said that every morning I want you to eat breakfast because you have something to throw up later on in the day. Oh, my word. And he wasn't far from the truth because he did really, really have us, you know, running up hills and, and everything. But isn't it true that you ha you'd trained and then you found out that the film wasn't going to happen? Well, it was, it was a moment. We were about four months into training and we got a message saying that, unfortunately, the money had left the project, so therefore the film wasn't going to be made. So I can remember to this day, all of us, um, me and Ben Cross and Ian Charlson and, and, uh, and Nick, all going into a, the nearest pub and getting completely, you know, blind drunk because we hadn't had a drink for five months and we were smoking cigarettes and drinking and then the next morning we got a phone call saying Phil's back on. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah so there's terrible hangover we went back tr to training <laughs> but thank god it got made so that was because you know, lots of films don't get made as you know. And, uh, well I didn't know but yes, now you I mean you, know, me you can work on a film and it just doesn't happen. Oh really? Doesn't, or the film never happens you know you you try and make a film for years and years and years, and it just doesn't doesn't happen. Well, luckily that did, and it that was an did. incredible Oscar-winning. It was, and that came out of the blue. We didn't expect that to happen. Oh, it was we? wonderful. Yeah. It was absolutely wonderful. Now you, so we, we, I was going to talk about Coronation Street, but I'm not because I'm going to go straight to the next thing you're doing, which is Benidorm. I've just I've done Benidorm. Yeah, I'm a great fan of Benidorm. Oh, that's lovely that you yeah. do. And then also you're going to do Panto. I am going to do Panto with this year. Paul Zerdin. Yes. Who we met when you learnt how to be a ventriloquist. Yes. Are you going to be if doing... If you can call that learning how to be eventually. <laughs> because uh, as someone said in the audience, it looks like Nigel's just having a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that was such fun. But you know what happened to Paul? No. He yes, went, well, he went to America. Las Vegas and... He went to America and on uh, America's Got Talent and he won it. I know, it's fantastic. So now he's in, in Las Vegas. I spoke to him yesterday. He's in Las Vegas doing his show. And then the Palladium with you at And Christmas. he's coming back to do the, the uh, uh, Palladium. Cinderella at the London Palladium. First time Panto's been there for since the 60s. And it's back with you. Yes. Thank you. And Lily Savage, thank you so much. Yes, Lovely Lily to see Savage. you, Nigel. Lovely thank to you. see you. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come. 
So make sure that you subscribe. Look at that handsome man. Um, he's, still, <laughs> he's still gorgeous, isn't he? He's, <gasps> he's craggy and he's lived and he's still gorgeous. He's just, he's unbelievable. And, mm. and he's obviously, you know, he's, he's like literally a legend. And I heard someone um, say that to him, you know, you're a legend. And he said, oh, that makes me shy. <laughs>